everyone, and today in UPPGE, I'm going to show you how to add and remove objects. So to start, I'm going to hit Shift A, <clears throat> go over to the empty, and make up an empty in the shape of a cube. Now if you want, you can go over to the empties property tab and change it. It's what it looks like. But it doesn't matter entirely what it looks like because in the game engine, empties are always invisible. So let's give it an always sensor. Let's give it an edit object actuator. Let's wire these up. And now we need to select the object we want to add. But the object we add has to be in another layer. So let's go to another layer. Layer. And add. Cube. Let's give this cube the color because let's make it rigid so it can fall. And now we play. Um, oh, we didn't select the cube. Cube 02. Is that the name of this cube? Yep. Now let's play. Um, still isn't doing anything. Oh, it's just a cube. Sucked in the wrong cube. There we go. And now it makes it. You can make a time, so the cube will last for a limited amount of time. If you make it 120, it will last for 2 seconds. If it's 0, it will be unlimited time. You can also, let's just say you want the cubes to delete whenever they touch the floor. So let's give the floor a property. Property. Sure, that's fine. Prop. Now, collusion with prop. And let's make it add. Edit object. End object. Now, whenever it touches the ground, deletes. You can also turn on pulse mode to make this always actuator not just activate once, but multiple times. So if you make it 60, it will activate once per second. I'm just going to get rid of the collusion script. You can also make it, I don't know, a small number like zero. That's the minimum, and it will make them incredibly fast. Now let's go over to here. Here we have a controllable character. I can move around. And I'm going to add an empty. And this time I'll just make it a plain axis empty. I'll move it over in front of the player. Move it out. And I'll just hold shift and select this cube. Hit control P. Parent it as an object. Now if you want to know about more about parenting. I have a video all about that. So, so now let's have something to that this empty can make. So let's go into the other layer. Let's make a cone. How about let's make a rigid body cone. There. And now I can say when keyboard space pressed, you add, you can add an object, and let's select cone. So now, it will add a cone, a pretty big cone, but you notice that the cone is taller than it is here. And that's happening because this player this empty is parented to this player, and this player size 2. His scale is 2, which means the scale is not equal to 1. It will affect the size of the object it adds. So, we either have to just set this to 1 and make this guy shorter, but if you want it to still be tall, then hit Control A and apply its scale, so now it will be 1. Now if you do that, there, it will make normal sized 
cones. Let's say you want it to eject the cones and shoot them out. Good. Even make it a turn pulse mode. And so you can just hold the keyboard down and it will fire them automatically. But let's just get some linear velocity so it will eject them. Negative 15 on the y axis. So now you do that but it will always do it in that direction. So if you want it to do it in the direction that the player is facing, just click the local button. And now it will do that. You can also give it some angular velocity so it will spin. So now it also spins when you fire it. And you can also choose whether to make that local Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.